Clark Vandergrift, and I'm a photographer filmmaker. I'll dream up stories, and then sometimes people come to me to just express my vision. Testing, one, two. <laughs> Good. I've been shooting for about 25 years, and I'd say the last 10 years, I've been doing video work. I just started dabbling in it. It was a lot of fun to get into, and speed. it's just been a kind of snowballing ever since then. I do client direct. I've worked through advertising agencies and full creative teams and their departments that take us all over the world. I shoot my own short films for the fun of it. I would say 50% of what I do is personal work. I'll take friends on adventures. I've been to Colorado at a cabin that's 12,000 feet in elevation. We took a train ride up there and made a film about that. We've been to Iceland. Did you see the little horror film I shot? <laughs> I shot that next door in my neighbor's shed. Maybe that's something to talk about. Yeah, that's pretty down and dirty. My family was my crew. <laughs> One of my favorite learning experiences was doing a personal video with my family. We were shooting things where the kids would go to school and I would be at home redoing the set all day long. I would, I would redo the lights, I would build props, I'd set up green screen, I would tear a hole in the bottom of a lunchbox and put a fisheye lens in it. And my favorite way to learn is just through process. You know, we kind of just dive in feet first and make it work. Every time I shoot something for myself, I try something new. Something in the lighting or something in the editing or some type of filmmaking process, I, I like to put something new in it. The lights on the gutter. I'm wearing many hats. I'm the producer, I'm the DP, the director, the editor the main sound guy. One of the advantages, I think, of wearing a lot of the hats is there's all kinds of little lessons to be learned that you, you learn in doing yourself. If somebody's putting a Band-Aid on it for you and making you look good, then you don't really realize all the things that maybe you should have been doing on set. Cut, cut, that was it. And then you kind of realize what you can and can't do and you know what's possible and what's not. You can learn a lot about the whole process by doing things for yourself, doing it your way, and translating it to client work. <laughs>